Alright guys, welcome back. It's Ari here, and for this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. You know, it's not like completely unheard of. We're going to do like an actual pet spotlight. We're going to do a pet spotlight on the bush chicken. Also, ignore this francois here. That's somebody else's. I don't actually have it. Um, so, this pet, it's got quite a unique model. It's got a little bit of a weird model, too. Like, you know, if you look at this tail here, it's kind of weird. Like, look at its back. It looks, it almost looks like a drain A there. Like, you know, this thing's weird. This thing's fucking weird. But yeah, it's got a really unique model. There's no other pet in the game with this model. Not yet, at least. I don't know if they're going to add one, but... um, It's even got that little thingy there, even though it says it's a chicken, it's a rooster. Um, It's got pretty big feet. It's got huge eyes. It's got a mohawk. And it's got a weird tail. A weird... It's got a very linear model, just like most of the grass in this game. And so, its move sets. It's here's its general move set. Here's its stats. It's only got one breed available to it. Um, it comes rare automatically. How you get this pet is. There's a daily from Pilgrim's Bounty, or there's a couple dailies from Pilgrim's Bounty, and it gives you a bag, and it's like a 1 or 2% drop chance from that bag or something. It's going to be an item called the Frightened Bush Chicken. Apparently the pet's name is only Bush Chicken, as I was corrected on yesterday. Um, it's got slightly above average health. It's, its health is nothing amazing. None of its stats are really amazing. It's a power balance breed. And it's... I'm going to be honest. It's not a good pet. You know, most people probably don't know this thing even exists. Most people have probably never seen this thing in battle. Um, I think... It's a pretty cool pet, though. Like, it's a critter with Cyclone. And actually, I use it on this team right here. It's four of my critter wins for the Family Brawler achievement. Most of the time, I even two-pet them with fucking the Bush Chicken and Mr. Wiggles. I didn't even use my Stone Armadillo most of the time. Because what I'd do is I would Cyclone, I'd Swap, I'd Uncanny Luck, I'd Buried Treasure, I'd Diseased Bite, and then I'd Swap back, throw up another Cyclone, and I'd just keep doing that over and over again. And it, it worked out for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that team. So, the Bush Chicken, in general, it's not got a great move set either. It's just the only thing unique about it is it's, you know, I guess its model's pretty unique. It has a unique model, but it's also a critter with cyclone. Let's let's go here. Let's cyclone. It's the only critter with cyclone. It's like the Blighthawk's the only undead with cyclone. Let's feed Dragonkin with it. There's a humanoid with cyclone. I actually need to level that up. I already knew that. I just didn't like, you know, register it. It's a magic pet with Cyclone. It's a few elementals with Cyclone. There's a single beast with Cyclone. No aquatics and no mechanicals with Cyclone. So everything but aquatic and mechanical has at least one pet with Cyclone. But the bush chicken's the only critter with Cyclone. And the rest of his moveset's rather boring, actually, honestly. You know, you don't benefit from going first with Squawk, or Rake, or Headbutt even. You've got Flock as a basic attack, or Savage Talon. So, let's look at his moveset as a whole. So you've got the first slot. You've got Flock, which is just Stampede, but does flying damage. 
Or you've got Savage Talon, which is actually a really good flying basic attack. It's got a really big high and a really bit a really steep low. Cause like it can hit for 441 damage with only 289 power. So like that's that's the equivalent of the Nubiseth Idol, I think. Um yeah, 276. Yeah, that's the equivalent of the Anubiseth Idol. That's the same as Crush, which everyone says is the best basic attack in the game. Savage Talon has the same ratio. And then, you know, it's just, it's Flock. Then you've got Rake, or you've got Squawk. And there's an argument that could be made for either one of them. Honestly, Squawk is probably better. But I go with the Rake just because, you know, it diversifies damage type. But, like, it, and it hits decent. But Squawk is probably better in most scenarios, honestly, because it lasts longer, it's effectively 75% less, whereas this one's only 50% less, and on a cooldown. And then the last slot, you've got Headbutt, or you've got Cyclone, and if you've got a pet in your slots that can make Cyclone work, Cyclone's the obvious choice. But if not, Headbutt's a good choice, too. Like, you can you can run Headbutt viably, you can run Cyclone viably. Like, I think every team except for the Clone Dance team, I've got Headbutt in that slot. Yeah. Um, I should probably actually make a Cyclone team too here. So, um, pets that would go good with this would, pr would be Dazzling Dance users would go good with it. Because... You can make your rake go first, you can make your squawk go first, you can make your headbutt go first. Cause Dazzling Dance with 273 speed, that's... Oh man, I knew this just a second ago, hold on. That's 341 speed. So... You're not going to outspeed everything, but you're going to outspeed a lot of things. And you're going to speed tie with some pretty important things. You're going to outspeed some pretty important things. So, you know, you can get your rake off and that works really well. You can get headbutt off and potentially stun. You can get another basic attack in. Or even you could go for flock, but then you're... You have no basic attack because, yeah, so that's... That's why you want to pick Savage Talon over Flock, is because while Flock can have its uses, you won't have a basic attack. Um, so, Dazzling Dance users go good with it, Temporal Anomaly would go good with it, um, Moon Dance I think it's called. Yeah, Moon Dance would go good with it. Other pets that would go good with it would be flying type pets, because it's a critter, it takes strong damage from beasts, flying takes weak damage from beasts. So flying pets would go really good with it, just for, you know, that extra coverage there. Um, I guess technically mechanical abilities would go good with it, because a lot of pets with beast damage also happen to be beasts. Some mechanicals would be decent with it too, but flying would be even better just because you ensure that you're taking the weak damage. Um, it does strong damage first aquatics, which means pets with undead damage would be really good with it too because they're weak to aquatics. But also, pets with humanoid damage would be really good with it. Or even the Macabre Marionette, just because it has both. Undead damage and humanoid damage. That's, that's a double whammy right there. And then because this thing has beast damage, undead pets are alright with it as well. So, you know, this is a solid combination right here. Because they just, they have full coverage for each other, really. Except for the fact that I guess, you know. But then, that's where Dibbler comes in. He takes care of the beasts. Um, so yeah, um, undead are okay with it, mechanicals are okay with it, flying types are really good with it, 
Pets with undead damage are okay with it. Pets with humanoid damage are really good with it. Pets with magic damage are pretty good with it also. Like it was Jade Mist Dancer, it's got magic damage. And then I can also deal with mechanicals because I took a beast here. And so, that's the Frightened Bush Chick, and it's not spectacular, there's not much to say about it. That's all I've got to say about it. And I'm going to take you into some battles with it. Wow, what an interesting team comp. He's got three mechanicals, which is, you know, that's... Alright, I've got something to deal with that decoy, but he's got three mechanicals. Two of which will actually deal mechanical damage. So, I don't know what he's going to start with. All right, I don't know if he has repair or if he has blitz, so. If it turns out he has blitz, this is going to be really sad for me. All right, well. Alright, so, he's going to kill me this turn with his, oh, that crit, that crit was so important for me, because he's going to kill me this turn, but then I'll be able to kill his little bling next turn. That crit was so important for me. Oh, man, maybe it wasn't as important as I thought. <laughs> Alright, if I can go first here, we'll be fine. If I can't go first, we won't be fine. Oh, we're not fine, guys. Right, so while that crit was really important, me not going first there was also really important. So I'm not going to use my rake here because it's just going to make one of his turret abilities hit for 20 instead of 41. So there's not really a point for that. Oh, he's going for repair. He's he's not going to get it off, I don't think. Oh, I need a triple hit. Alright, well, I already think this one's doomed because that's going to hit me really hard. Oh, he's got bombing run anyways. Yep, it's doomed, guys. That's what happens when you bring beasts against mechanicals. Oh, um, apparently Crouch wears off before Bombing Run goes down too, in case you guys didn't know that. I didn't know that. So even though this guy won, he still brought a different pet, which, you know, I guess is... Actually, I don't know if this is the same guy. I didn't pay attention to his names. So... If you call lightnings, that's gonna buff my damage. Nice. Oh, I didn't hit anything though. <laughs> Feels bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
think about it. That is important. Yeah, we have to do that. I mean, if, if it's up there, there could potentially be an amazing egg up there. I need to do this. This is for the channel. All right, so this is gonna this is gonna be a long battle just because it's gonna have to go through the animations, and um, I might as well just stay on my Mr. Wiggles because I'm pretty sure he's gonna die on the back line if I just swap. Oh man. Alright, so I'm just gonna throw my uncanny luck up again because I'm gonna die this turn anyways. And then I'll be able to throw up another cyclone. As he throws up another call lightning, that crit. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did it take so long to just? decide to do anything. Oh man, this this lightning and cyclone combo is really screwing with my computer right now. Oh, I really needed that crit and high-end hit to activate his racial. That was so good. So that's gonna kill him. Oh, unless he heals, it's not gonna kill him. Damn. I didn't even think about that, honestly. Oh, wait, why did it have to think so long and then just not work? Oh, I should have put up the shield last turn. Alright, so the shield still works anyways. That's good. <sighs> but his MPD is going to get a turn of Shattered Defenses though. I should have just passed, I think, to let that wear off. Oh, he ran, he went for decoy right away instead of hitting me, hitting me while I had Shattered Defenses up, so... There's hope for me. Wait. Wait. What? Alright, so I'm gonna go for my shield. Just because I'm gonna have to hit him twice. I don't think I needed the shield, but I have to hit him twice to kill him anyways, so... I just wanted to be safe. Yeah, I didn't even need the shield since I only hit him once, but I didn't even need the shield. I could have just hit him twice. I shouldn't have used my shield there. Here. Where the hell did the roll rat go, Paul? Come on, come out here and fight me. Yeah, they're not. They don't fight me. Alright, so. This confirms it is two separate people running Lil Bling plus MPD, but, um. So I don't know how my doubler is gonna do here, but. Oh, I should have clamped first just to leave this guy. Oh, okay. Well, um, if I do this here, all right. 
So I got his racial before he got his repair off. So I'm going to save my marionette. So I'm saving my marionette for that mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. And I kind of want to save my Dibbler a little bit too. I actually don't know if he runs Blingtron Gift Package or if he runs Extra Plating, so... I'm probably going to bring in Dibbler here. I want to do it that way so that you can add a good thing. Alright, so let's head back to base and uh, attach a So, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to clamp him and then I'm going to use drill charge for the kill. So, he won't get his make it rain off. And I'll soak the last turn of his turret. Oh, he went for that first. I was hoping he'd go for his decoy first like the other guy did. He is weak damage to me though, but flyby would be even less damage, so. Oh, that crit. Alright, well I think I've got this in the bag. I think I've got this one handled pretty well. Yeah, so I handled that one pretty well. I knew I would need my marionette to handle the decoy, so that's why I saved my marionette for last. And then I knew my dibbler, even with its low health, could 1v1 his, um, what's it called, his little bling. So I saved my dibbler and I kind of just sacrificed my bush chicken there. My bush chicken did nothing but absorb damage. I'm pretty sure that's all my bush chicken did in this battle also. Alright, so... I don't know if this is the guy I just faced or what, but... He has the worst of the two low XTs. And he has a undead pet, so he's not doing triple mechanicals anymore. Um... If he goes for his heartbroken right away, which he did, nice. So I am just going to pass my turn right here just because he's. He's going to activate my racial there, but then I'm also faster. I'm not faster than that MPD, but he didn't bring the MPD in for whatever reason. So there's a stun on his little KT now also. And 
I don't know what this guy's doing. Ooh, yikes. So I don't know if this is the guy. I'm pretty sure he puts up his bombing run first. So I should be able to get my Twilight Fire up. Oh, he doesn't even have bombing run. Maybe this is a different guy entirely. Maybe there's just three people playing MPDs right now. That's, that's so weird. So, I'm probably going to two-pet this guy, honestly. Like, I'm not even... Actually, I might not. I mean, if he misses, I will, but... And he did miss. So... I'm not even going to get to show off my bush chicken. And I actually took the wrong ability there. I was supposed to take Cyclone, not Headbutt. So I am going to get to show off my bush chicken, because I am going to die this turn. Then my bush chicken is just going to finish him off here. See? Bush chicken. It's just too good. See, that's why I went for headbutt there, so I could show you guys the finishing move. Because, you know, that's all the bush chicken can do, is it just it cleans up battles. You know, it's too good at it. Can't believe my Twilight actually took out two me Actually, it didn't take out two mechanicals. It took out a mechanical and an undead. But, you know, that's, that's kind of weird. It's a beast. Alright, so... Um, my bush chicken is going to have a fun time here. There we go. One down, two to go. Alright, so I might have a beast move, so I want to bring in my flyer. Oh, um, oh ouch, that was actually a really good move out of that guy. Oh no! <laughs> no, I didn't want to die there. Oh, this one actually has absorb instead of the magic ability. Oh man, I'm in a really bad position this battle for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of embarrassing how bad of a position I'm in. Alright, so I'm going to use Pig out while I still have Wild Magic up. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty sad. I was actually worried a little bit there, honestly. Not gonna lie. So, this is a really interesting team composition. This is... It's only wild caught pets. But I don't, I don't know if that's what he's going for here. I think he just 
they might be a new pet battler, so I actually kind of feel bad for having my dread hatching and my molten corgi. <laughs> you know, but, um... Yeah, so... You know, that's a... That's a team composition right there. So I'm going to try to make this as quick and painless as possible for this guy's sake. Because... Well, this is, this is kind of sad. I've got, I've got a Molten Corgi. I've got a Dread Hatchling. Oh, he's even got flank on a 260 speed pet. This guy's... I guarantee you this guy's a new pet battler. So I actually feel kind of bad for this. At least he knows his typing. He's... I got a super lucky crit there, though. But at least he knows his typing. So I want to absorb... His next hit on my bush chicken. Can I actually just finish this guy off on my bush chicken, probably? Actually, maybe I can't. Not with that heal. Oh my god, of course, this is the battle I get all my crits in, guys. Alright, well, at least I didn't try and drag out the battle, but like, of course, that's where I get all my crits. Jesus Christ. I actually thought, I actually thought about just forfeiting there instead of getting the last hit, because like, um... Yeah, I, I don't like facing new players with teams like this. Even if I do have a bush chicken, I two-pet him with my bush chicken and my dread hatchling. You guys didn't even see the Molten Corgi. Because, like, his team was just that bad, honestly. And then I got some really lucky crits. But, um, you know, I almost thought about just forfeiting that. Just so he doesn't feel terrible about pet battles. Because it's like... You know, if if I was new at pet battles and I fought my team just now, I'd be pretty discouraged from pet battling, or at least PvP pet battling, because it's like, oh, well, that guy, he's got some really strong pets. There's nothing I can do if that guy's got really strong pets, and I don't. And it's, what's the point? He's obviously been doing this longer than me, and it's just, you know, well, yeah, I have, and it's like, you know, honestly, I really love playing the Dread Hatchling because, you know, it's one of my favorite pets. And it's got some sentimental value to me. And the Bush Chicken, it's not a good pet, but I enjoy playing it because, you know, it's the Bush Chicken. Molten Corgi, I put it in here for coverage and just to show off, like, team building pretty much. Because it's, it's an elemental with a heal. It can heal under darkness. I didn't want to just like... Twilight. Dread Hatchling. Bush Chicken. Bush Chicken is good. That's something I wanted to avoid. So I tried to diversify it. So I've got Darkness User. Healing Elemental. Darkness User. Healing Elemental. You know what I mean? So that way my heal isn't gimped, so it's not anti-synergy. And that way I'm not pairing these two and saying that the dread uh, saying that the bush chicken's good because it won. And I'm not saying the bush chicken's good even though I've only lost one game so far because it's that's my only loss with the bush chicken by the way. But like I'm not saying the bush chicken's good. I'm saying it's a fun pet to use and it's a unique pet. 
those last two battles, I did post a little bit out of order, just because, you know, I started rambling at the end of this one, and not so much at the end of this one. So, like, I do, I do like, I don't like beating up new players with teams like this, because, you know, I, I two-pet him with my bush chicken and my dread hatch. That's how bad his team was. Like, I hate saying people's teams are bad, but, like, that guy's team was actually terrible. It was only wild caught pets. None of them were good, and it's just... I know he was trying, because, you know, he's he's a new battler. He probably liked those pets, he probably thought they were good, and they just weren't, you know? And I can't fault him for that. He's probably a new pet battler. It was probably three of his only five level 25s, and that's okay. It's like, you know... People always make the argument for um, multiple pet battle cues, and it's just, while I think that would be a good thing in theory, there's just not enough people who pet battle for that to be plausible, because, like, sometimes I'll wait 40 minutes in queue, sometimes I'll wait two hours in queue, sometimes I'll face the same guy all fucking day long, and it's just, there's... If you want to add more cues, you're just going to make us face even less people. Like, I know you guys think it's a good idea, but it's just, it's a good idea in theory. And so, you know, I feel like I ramble about this all the fucking time. I'm just, I'm just not gonna. Uh, so yeah, that's the bush chicken. It did a lot better than I expected it to, but I mean, I did give it some really good friends. I did give it, yeah, I gave it some really good friends, honestly. I don't think I ever used Dazzling Dance on it. But, um, yeah, you know, I... I thought this was gonna be one of the better teams, but I faced triple mechanicals with a beast on my team with no elemental damage, so... Yeah, I thought this was gonna be one of the better teams. I could have played it better, Pers in my personal opinion, I could have played it better, but um, I was scared of that MPD, and I just shouldn't have been. But then I won with all five of the other ones, so, you know, the bush chicken, it went five and one today, and I think that's my only loss with it. Yeah, that's my only loss with it. Dude, why didn't I play this team? Here, we're going to do a bonus battle. We're going to play this team. So, I did want to do a bonus battle, right? But, like, look at this guy's team. <laughs> it's one hell of a bonus battle. So that's not going to kill me, and I'm faster than all of his snails, so I'm going to swap that guy out. Oh, damn. Well, this will kill him. Hey, at least it's a bonus battle with the bush chicken, right? So, 524, because I really want to test that out. So, strong damage does affect that. So, uh, 
There's there's not really much to say about this battle, I don't think. Oh, only four health too much. Alright, well. Bush Chicken's gonna come in and finish it off. Just like previously. I just screenshot stuff like that, like the bush chicken winning the battle. Maybe if it was against a real team, I would, but, um, yeah, so that's the bush chicken in action. And that's, yeah, so that's the bush chicken in action there. And we went through seven different teams. And we only lost one battle, so Bush Chicken was six and one today, guys. You know, my meta was pretty calm today. I should keep playing, but at the same time, it's just now that I say that, I'm gonna start facing the fiendish imp guy over and over and over and over again. So Um, yeah, that's that's the bush chicken. I don't know what else there is to say. It's not a good pet. But it's a fun pet to use. It's a unique pet. It's got a really unique but also really crappy model. Yeah.